Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this video we will create our first API for our project which is sign up API or you can say that registration API. It's totally up to you. Both are the similar thing. So let's take a look on the points of this video then we will jump on a practical example. Uh, we will make a database and a table then we will connect this database with the Laravel and after that we will make a controller and router and we will send the data with the postman and uh, save our data to the database right and after that we will test our API completely and in the next video we will integrate this API inside our react.js frontend uh, framework uh, library right and uh, for that for a moment we will use a postman to test this API so now let's uh, just jump on a PHP my admin so that we can just uh, make database and table very easily right so let me just create a database database with the name of ecom and uh, let's say my table name is users with the uh, four columns and now let's put the columns name uh, let's say id name email id and uh, last one we can let's say put password and our id can be integer and uh, it will be a primary key as well as it will be automatic incremented so that uh, we should not be uh, increase it uh, manually and after that we can put our name email address and password where care and we will define some uh, uh, adjustable length let's say 100 uh, or something and uh, now let's put password again as in where care and uh, let's save it perfect so our database is ready so now let's connect it with the uh, laravel so to make a connection with the laravel we don't need to do much things so just go to the env file and just you need to uh, adjust these three things first uh, database uh, name and which is already ecom i already provided that and uh, your uh, username it it will be by default root if you did not change your uh, uh, username with the mysql and password is again blank in my case if you just change it then you can put your password and i'm very sure that in 99 percent case your password should be blank all right so everything is fine now let's uh, just open a terminal here and uh, make our uh, controller so just write here php artisan make controller and controller name let's say my controller name is user controller we can make any name to our controller i am just putting it uh, user because this is re relevant to registration and sign up and all so here we go and this is created inside app http controllers and there and now let's uh, create a function inside it let's say my function name is uh, register And now for a moment let's return here hello right and uh, let's make a route for it and where we will put our route inside routes folder and uh, when we are making website then we are just putting route inside web.php but when we create apis we have to just define these uh, routes inside api.php so just import our uh, controller here so use here use app http controllers and uh, user controller Get semicolon and now we will use the passport uh, or centum kind of uh, token but we will just do it later because might be some viewer, viewers or some beginners may be stuck on these uh, uh, tokens so first of all we will create a simple sign up then after some videos we will just add here centum or passport package and uh, now just write here root route and a method so let's say we are using a post method because uh, in a sign up or registration time we are using basically use a secure way so post is uh, much secure than get and uh, here we can put here a 
our route name let's see register and in a second parameter we can uh, just simply put here uh, our uh, controller name which is uh, user controller colon colon class and in its second parameter we will just define our method name which is register right so just define it here and after that we can test it with the postman so and output should be hello so just go to the postman select the method post sometimes we guys are just selected the wrong method here which is not synced with the our route sometimes we are just putting here a get and trying to uh, use it with the post or sometime our method is post and we are trying to use it with the get that time it will just give a error that method is not supported i will show you that error also but uh, first of all let's uh, try to use it so just write here localhost and uh, 800 this is our uh, base path then api api means that we are just uh, writing our route inside api.php and after that register like this and try to hit uh, let me check what's wrong with it okay so i just need to put here a colon i just missed that and now you can see that we are getting a uh, hello as in response that's great uh, i just want to show you the error sometime we just select a wrong method then uh, you will just find an error like this get method is not supported or post method is not supported this kind of error right so uh, keep in mind that you are using right method that's great now let's uh, just connect with the database so that we can just save the data in the database okay so just uh, send uh, try to send some real data from uh, our postman to uh, user controller right so what i'm just going to do let's go to the body select row and just select here a json data now just send some json data like uh, name can be anil um, we can use a double quotes here then uh, email and it can be like uh, anil at the rate test dot com and after that let's uh, send a password and i will use a same password every time which is uh, abc at the rate one two three the reason being uh, maybe we will create a many users or might we just we will we just forget the password uh yes we will just create a forget password option also but for a moment our password will be encrypted in database and we cannot find it that's why i will put a same password for all users uh, okay now you can see that we are still getting uh, hello because we are not uh, just trying to retrieve this data here so just write here request and a dollar r eq this is a parameter which is a type of request and this uh, request belong to http request and now simply return here dollar request input and now you will find that we are just getting the data which is we are sending from postman uh, okay i just i think i just forgot to put here uh, semicolon here we go we just got the same data that we are just sending from the postman so now let's see that how we can save it in the database first of all we need a model and uh, you can just simply create it with the command let's say php artisan make model and model name right let's say user why i am putting here user because uh, our database table name is users and uh, uh, there is uh, you can say that the combination that if our database table name is plural then our model name should be singular right so we can just create it but uh, if you are just trying, trying to create it then you will just see that model is already created because laravel already provide you a model 
with the name of user by default right so we didn't know to create it so what we can do here we can just simply import it inside our controller uh, in the upcoming videos uh, like we are adding the product and more then we will create some more tables so don't worry about that uh, if you are don't know that how we can create a new model and all i will show you in the upcoming videos but for a moment our model is already created by the laravel so just write here app import it app models and here we can put here simply user right and now let's make instance of it and just use here new user and just put here user name is we will just get this name from request which we will send from the postman or our front end and it can be name right and let's make two more one for uh, email and uh, another one for a uh, password so just put here email and email is here again and let's put one more password and we will just get a password but there is an issue because we cannot save this password directly with it we must have to uh, just encode it or decode it right so how we can encode it with the hash library so just simply put here use illuminate illuminate support and uh, then facade and uh, hash and now just simply use this uh, hash class here and it have a method with the name of make and uh, we can just use it like this simply here and after that just use here use save method and it will save this data to the database and obviously we want to retrieve our uh, uh, some information like id and username and uh, uh, email from the database then how we can retrieve so just simply put here uh, dollar user right and now you will just get this data here so let's try to send it again and uh, here we got an error yeah uh, this is a genuine error which is uh, updated at field is not found here unknown unknown uh, column updated at the reason being here because in our database we don't have any uh, update at and create at field but laravel actually demand these uh, fields so how we can uh, uh, resolve this issue you can just create two more fields but uh, i don't think so we that need these tables so what we can do here we can just go to the users and we can add a property here which is public dollar timestamp false right and now let's try to hit it again now you can see that our data is saved and we just retrieved uh, email id uh, name and uh, id right but why we did not just get the password let's see that what we are just getting in the table we got the id name email and password all right but we only just retrieved three fields why we are not getting password the reason is in a controller we just hidden this field right if we just uh, comment it out then you will find that this is the password is again visible here but uh, password should not be visible like this that's why we'll just make it hidden only and now let's try to save one more user so let's say another user is sam uh, with the email id like sam and now you will find that uh, again the sam is also saved with the id 2 and let's check that is it stored in the database or not here you you can see that both uh, users are saved here if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video bye bye take care